Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and welcome to another content creator live stream where we go through various different tracks. This time we're back on PC in silky smooth 60 FPS. The meetup theme that we had for this week was Italian cars, so any cars made by an Italian manufacturer. Um, and I think this is something that we're going to do over the coming weeks, just different cars from different countries. Uh, an interesting selection. I think it, Italy is probably one of the the most widely spread countries for car makers in this game, I would say. A lot of Pegasis for certainly and, and Grotties. Um, but yeah, for anyone who doesn't know what this is, it's uh, where we do races every single week. Well, every other week or, or every, <laughs> every so often. <laughs> where we go through and showcase seven tracks that have been submitted by you guys in the community. I give my thoughts on them. And the links for all the tracks are in the description so you can download them, the ones that you like. There's always a varied selection of real regular proper racing circuits and then some fun stuff and rally circuits and things like that as well. So let's just jump into it, shall we? All right, trophy truck playground to start us off. Bit of a fun race, this one. Well, there's a blimp, so that's always a good sign. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull off on this one. Now I've got to remember to record as well. But this, this could be. What on earth? It, this could be an interesting one to start us off with. As, uh, as it is always the case, we're not just always about proper proper racing tracks obviously we focus on that more than more than most other things but we do also do oh wow um we do also do fun races rally races stunt races special vehicle races and we will be doing transform races when they eventually arrive but let's see what this one's all about so there's jumps in the middle. I bet those are going to cause some issues. Oh, you can... There's, there's varying different ways to do the track, it seems. Oh. So you can hop up on there and wall ride it, or you can take a normal line. You can do a jump here over the blimp. I mean, this isn't quicker to take a jump, but... Okay, this this is fun all right so this is we'll try and do the wall rides on this lap I guess I'm not very good at them but oh I just absolutely dumb <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm so sorry all right so I did the wall ride in the tube that time so let's go around this way. I wonder if it's like relatively well balanced so that one of them isn't as quick. I want they're, they're both as quick as each other. And then you've got the jump sections which are always potential for issues. Oh my god, I've gone over the checkpoint. Are you serious? <laughs> You gotta be careful on these bumps. <laughs> and a literal overtake there as well. So you do get more speed off the wall rides, I think. Because you, you're able to carry, you're just generally carrying more speed around the track. So if you can do the wall rides, I think they're the better thing to do. But I guess. I guess the, the non-wall ride versions and parts are there to give you an option. If Guys like don't me. hit me, I'm taking names! <laughs> <laughs> taking names! But like, if you're like me, not very good at wall rides. But I've not been doing too badly so far. Thank you for the donation. I'll, um... Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh god, this is why I don't do wall rides. Um... Faster but more risk, yes. 
I am going to rely on the chat quite a bit today to keep you right because I'm, I'm feeling the effects of the week of streaming. So I mean, I'm hoping the chat will keep me on on point and on topic. Uh, thank you for the donation. I, I will read it after the race. I'll, I'll do all donations and subscriptions after each race as I always do. We've got a bit of downtime. For those watching on YouTube, the links for these are all in the description, all in the order in which we'll play each of these tracks. Whoa! Um, <laughs> and if you want to submit your own tracks as well, the links for that in the description. This is fun. This is a fun track to stand us off. Made better by the use of trophy trucks and desert raids. I, I... Come on, come on. You gotta hold down on the on the analog stick to make sure, like back on the analog stick to make sure that you do that. Okay. This, is, this has been a fun track to start us off. I like it. I like it. Trophy Truck Playground is what it's called and that's exactly what it is. I'm a fan. Really nice creation. Just a good bit of fun. And nothing that like causes you to rage either. It's just, it's just fun. Even all the jumps seem like they're different heights so you're not actually going to be hitting anybody obviously the potential is always there but for the most part damn it that one didn't go so well i was doing so well i just got into the top 10 oh no might as well take the jump why not we <gasps> oh, that was so close! <laughs> Fig Jam's had a nightmare there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think that's the second time I've wrecked Fig Jam on that same <laughs> section of track. Oh man, this has been a good. What? <laughs> Trophy trucks absolutely are the right thing for this track, no doubt about it. This is just a good bit of fun. Any track that puts a smile on your face and doesn't make you rage is all is all good for me. That one I completely miscalculated, like absolutely entirely miscalculated. <laughs> Oh, this last, the last lap from now, like this point has been terrible. I was, I was just into 10th place and then it all went to hell. <laughs> oh, good times. Yeah, that was fun. Pretty decent for a track full of wall rides. Yeah, that, that's that's a, a point where, like, this is a track where wall rides are done well. They're just they're just a bit of fun. They're not overdone. They're not ridiculous. Now imagine this with dunes. This would be interesting with dunes. <laughs> I took so many people out in that. Soccer balling with a hundred bits, you know Chokemus ended on Sunday, right? <laughs> the ten days of Chokemus, yeah, I know. Um, thank you for the hundred bits. And Nietzsche with the ten dollars, really enjoyed the past week of streams, scumbag. Thank you so much for the donation, man. Yeah, the, the last week of streams was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it as well. I was only half a second off the best lap, though. Uh, I really enjoyed it as well. Streams are great.
Uh, two, so let's do four laps. Let's do sports classics. And as always, I generally tend to, uh, even though we could just go straight off into the race, I just, I wait the full minute and a half just to give us a bit of a chill down between each race. Did I miss something in the last hour of the 13 hour, 22 minute stream? Uh, I can't remember now. <laughs> It's worth watching back anyway. What are the banned cars? There's no banned cars. You never race sports anymore. We always race sports. We race every class at least once. In these streams. And if anything... We race... Uh, we race sports more often than anything else because we do the rally races that are sports. Let me use the Trismore more classic. I don't have a I don't have a rapid GT classic, which is what I was going to use just for the fun of it. But We probably should do a mid-tier sports classic race at some point. The old, the classic sports classics before it was ruined. Z-type and lower. That's how you go from 1st to 24th in the space of a split second. Absolutely destroyed. It's a good job I don't care about my results in these races. Clean dive bomb if you ask me. As always, I give my thoughts on the tracks from lap two onwards. Just so I can get a, an idea of the track first before I start giving some thoughts. a wide variety of cars it's interesting that we've got some retinues and some of the old sports classics as well monroes and cascos and stuff uh. wait mark the scappens in this i could have sworn we saw him in the yellow turismo classic am i losing the plot entirely Gali doesn't have the top speed. I mean, it never had the top speed, but it certainly doesn't anymore with this new breed of sports classics. To be fair, that first corner does have that low grip stuff. So I can understand why, especially in a casco, the braking was not quite on point for that first corner takeout. Where's the ardent somebody said in the chat I saw. Don't trigger me. I 
will get triggered. The Ardent would be right on the pace of the top two. Or should I say top three now? That was messy. Yeah, this is this is nice. Um, no issues with uh, props. It uses all the right props. You know, the, the big stun targets. I say this every week. But the big stun targets, these green uh, tankers as apex props. The, the walls. And the walls aren't too high either. So it doesn't feel claustrophobic. Obviously no metal barriers in sight. No horrible apex props that have terrible hitboxes. So all the props are perfect. Um, it's all got a consistent sort of colour combination and stuff. I'd like to see a proper start grid. I take back what I said. The low grip stuff is only on the actual corner, so the braking is on. The braking would have had to have been messed up well before that for that first corner incident. Um, it's got some nice sort of runoff areas, which make. A Sandy Shaw's track a little bit, you know, that's a little Listen, bit different. right. I was bang on time. In fact, I was 10 seconds early, so don't even give me that shit. <laughs> um, thank you for the donation. The, the runoff areas make it feel a little bit unique. Obviously, you can, you know, you could just leave them to be the dirt, but the track has been extended by using those runoff areas. I like the bridge as well, so the, the track has been extended a bit further in that respect as you know, in addition additionally. Um, yeah, it's a it's a good track. It's a fun track. It's a new it's it's a, it feels like a fresh Sandy Shores track, which isn't something that you always get. Especially when you sort of restrict yourself to Sandy Shores. A little bit tight in some areas, but I mean, that's the nature of a Sandy Shores track. Yeah, I think the only thing it's missing is a proper start grid. I like the little bit of elevation here. And the fact that this is all completely new bits of road that lead you onto this bridge section that people are going under now. Yeah, it's good. I like this. This is good. That's a uh, manana. Gives you some good racing. There's always the first test. There's a few corners that uh, that are quite harsh, like actual not rounded corners like these. I think that is the perfect solution to that. I would like to see all the corners that are harsh like that have uh, have that what's it called concrete tube on it. Depends what the prop usage is like. But there's just a few, like one or two, that are quite, you know, square corners. I think they would be made better if they were like that last one. No blimps, that is true. No blimps. We don't know how much Flaming loves his blimps. Oh, it's a good track, some good racing as well. This is 
not gone well for this car. Dave Kelly with a 701. Listen, right, this donation sound would have worked better if you'd had one less subscriber, but F it. Congrats on passing 700. Missed most of the week of streams, but I'll see you managed fine on your own. <laughs> Thank you, Dave Kelly, for the donation. Yeah, the, the week of streams was crazy. It was absolutely insane. And thank you guys for the support on that. Thank you, Dead Kelly. The gas tank would be better instead of the concrete pipes. I used to have pipes on Bowie, but I changed them due to how sticky they felt. I've always thought the concrete pipes are okay at an angle. So for like really, really tight hairpins. When you can just, you know, put your wheel over them. But yeah, I see what you're saying. If, if they're like straight up like that and you're gonna be touching them with the side of your car maybe it's not the best idea yeah nice sorry about the first corner just misjudged, misjudged my braking completely I uh, I never would have guessed. <laughs> it's all good. I don't really care, to be honest, how well I do in these races. That's why I go to the back half the time, just to make it a bit more interesting. Yeah, at an angle, they're good. But yeah, I would. Yeah, fair enough. No, they shouldn't be. The, the gas tanks are better for that than the concrete tubes. Um, let's do five laps for this. Leave it on supers. We'll do this supers race as any supers are allowed. We're not going to ban the top three. Because I feel like things like the RE7B and the Wagner might do well here. But I've been told by... Because obviously when, if, when, uh, when submissions come in, I have a team of He's people... He's a scumbag! He's an absolute scumbag! I have a team of people who test out the races first. Um, and only the, the the better ones actually make it into these streams in the first place. They, they don't have to be absolute 100% perfect because then it gives me something to actually talk about. And, you know, we, we talk about them in, in general. Um, and I give opinions on how to improve, but, you know, really terrible stuff. Uh doesn't make it into the the streams but the the note that they put on this was just ignore the title pretend it's called something like dynasty 8 international circuit because they know that i am notorious for hating tracks that are recreations of real world tracks so i i, I decided to include it despite it being called shanghai international circuit and it's based off the shanghai international circuit in real life um so we'll see we'll see what it's like <laughs> um blown tire with the 28 months you go you go to the back because that is where you belong you're a scumbag thank you for the 28 months though <laughs> next rex with the one dollar well i used 150 props so i'm limited yeah. it is built for proper racing i hope you think it's good for proper racing the big pipe um are there so that you can see the corner they're a bit sticky but with normal uh, tanks you can't see the apex I mean you can just put a um, a tyre barrier on top of the corner I think that would be better than the little bit of a sticky tube now that I think about it thank you Engary for the bits as well but I shall, uh, I'll, I'll read them after this the Wagner is going to be absolutely OP on this by the way why do I keep getting wrecked at the start of these races? I am... I am... Why do I bother? Why do I bother? Oh, what a scumbag! Thank you for the subscriptions and things. I'll, I'll catch up with them after this race. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say on this first lap before I give any thoughts about the track itself. The reason that... The reason that I hate tracks in GTA that are trying to model real world tracks is that they never ever work. And you constantly, as you're driving a track that's called Laguna Seca or Shanghai International Circuit, you're constantly thinking about the real world version of the track. And the track in GTA that is based off of never ever ever i've never experienced one that lives up to the original track this is a very very good recreation but it's still not exactly the same so i'm gonna put it out there that i think this track would be better if it was called something like a parody of shanghai international circuit i don't know some like like they mentioned dynasty 8 international circuit or Something that was, you know, you know how you have GTA parodies, parodies of companies. You don't have Ferrari, you have uh, Grotti instead. Stuff like that. Some sort of variation. Everyone knows that it's kind of based on it, but it's not trying to be it. So that's all I'll say. And for that reason, I don't like the title of the track and what it's trying to be. But now, because I've said that, I'm going to freely give my thoughts on just the track itself because yeah like I said and people are saying it in the chat people some people are saying in the chat that it's so far off uh, the actual track but I mean if it wasn't trying to be Shanghai International Circuit you would think oh this looks exactly this looks almost like Shanghai International Circuit but because it's it's titled that and it's trying to be that, then you hold it to a higher standard. And yeah, it, it, it's it's obviously it, it just when you're constantly thinking about the track being a real world track, and it never ever ever feels accurate, um, it just ruins the experience a little bit. So that's my first recommendation: rename it to something that. Let's people know that it's inspired and based off of Shanghai International Circuit. And you can even put that in the description, but don't call it literally Shanghai International Circuit. Wang Chung Circuit, yes. You know, something something like that. Something funny, something GTA-ish. But about the actual track itself. Damn it. I mean it's a good circuit, it is. I can see where the inspiration comes from, from obviously Shanghai International Circuit and some of the, you know, these grandstands and stuff like that. It has been very well made to be very similar to what it's like on that circuit. Um, it's, you know, it's built at the airport, the stunt roads are used, but also walls covering them off and things like that, so there isn't a big curb, but I mean, the actual that, that creation there of the the stuff there that that's really really good aesthetically it's very very good as a as just a circuit in its own right obviously you can see the similarities of what it's trying to be um it's more from it's more from the racing race track perspective than it just doesn't work to to be a real world track but having said that you know i like it as a track i like the the um, the use of the stunt roads for for some elevation. It's not just all flat like airport tracks usually are. I mean, when you think about it, this is an airport track, and it's a very, very, very good airport track. Sweet and sour international. It's got the empty grandstand, so I'll give it that as accurate. <laughs> I think I think the the aesthetics of the track are actually one of the more accurate things that I've seen from uh, a track. People try too hard to make the actual track be like the real world track, and it never ever works. Even people who make you know what they believe to be the best versions of Laguna Seca or Silverstone, things like that. 
I've played them and they just never ever work. They really don't. Um, oh, that's not what um, but aesthetically, like the actual grandstands and the, the 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 creation that has been done on the main pit straight, that looks almost identical. Um, that there, it looks very, very good. Certainly probably the best you could do as a GTA, what the, as a GTA recreation of that grandstand. Yeah, I guess that's a fair point. You could say that it's more of a stadium track because it is heavily related, you know, it is heavy on stunt props. I don't think it suffers from being heavy on stunt props like some stadium tracks do from a proper racing perspective. I think it is a very nice creation. And you could certainly do some proper racing events around this track. But it certainly doesn't feel like racing around Shanghai International Circuit from a driving perspective. And because it's titled that, it ruins the whole experience for me of the track itself. It should be something unique and, and not trying to be something else. But the track itself, I think, is very, very good. Uh, and I enjoyed racing around it. Look at those Wagners. <laughs> All the Wagners. Um, so, you know, I, I, I like it. I just don't like the name. I think it would be very fun in Muscles, actually. That's a good point. It would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think I think that that's fair. Like with the high downforce stuff, some of those corners were pretty easy. That in some lower grip things like the muscle cars, it would be even more interesting. But I think the track itself is very very good. Like the the base track. Um, it's very, very good. It's just, uh, it shouldn't be trying to be Shanghai International Circuit because as soon as you try to be that, it immediately fails. But I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it a lot. If whoever made that track wants to go back and watch the Twitch stream, not just the YouTube video, and uh, and find that track and then read the chat whilst we were racing around that track. There's some very good uh, very good um, suggestions in the chat about what to call it instead of Shanghai International Circuit. Uh, let's do three laps. Let's take customs off. Um. Rapids with the five months in a row working right now, so I can't say much except for have a happy birthday also. God damn it. Thank you for the five months. Major copyright, I also got your message. Yes, thanks. Uh, in Gary 97 with 100 bits. Hey, bruv, sorry for being this slow, but if I'm a subscriber, I can join permanently to the 1322 crew. My name is different though, so I guess I would need to write a message about that. Yep, if you actually do type um, uh, exclamation point join in the uh, in the chat, you get the join uh, document and that explains how it all works. But basically you just have to get on my Discord, post in the help and support section, link your Twitch account to your Discord account, shows that you're a subscriber and all subscribers to my channel get permanent place in the stream crew for, you know, races like this. Obviously these, uh, these content creator live streams I, I do restrict to permanent members in the stream crew and then uh and then um you know sunday streams and just when we're not doing something as regimented as this i just open up the crew to everybody on my streams would you rather have part of the circuit being high up in the air on normal stunt road with the risk of falling off or with wonky barriers neither i've seen enough creations now to know that it's possible to create a track that uses you know non-silly barriers as in 
not the metal barriers and make them smooth enough so it can be done it just requires a bit more finesse and a bit more effort from the creator I would say and I certainly wouldn't want tracks to be up in the air with a chance of falling off I don't like that at all Oh, what a scumbag! Alright, special vehicle race. Damn it. That's okay, that works. <laughs> we went from... Uh, we went halfway up the grid in one corner. That'll do me. Get some boosts there. Thank you for the subscription. Like I said, I'll read it. Oh, I'll read it after this race. Um, yeah, special vehicle race. We don't get these all that often uh, in these showcases, but they do happen. We've actually played this once before on a Patreon's Patreon supporter stream, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and it's not it's not trying to do too much. It's just simple and effective. This track, so we'll we'll, uh, we'll give it some laps. I forgot about that bit until the last minute and then I forgot that the correct way to do it is to not jump and also pull the chute so you can get the corner nicely. <laughs> no! I love that bit because you don't even need the parachute for that one. <laughs> this one looks familiar. Yeah, like, I, like I've just said. Um, we, uh, we have done this on a Patreon race before. And I feel like there's a highlight on Bruffy's random bits relating to that section. I don't know. I can't remember what happened, but something ridiculous happened on that section. Mid-air brake check, yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> but yeah, the, the way that the, I think the reason that I like this as a special vehicle circuit race is that it's just... It's not trying too hard. It's not doing too much. It's just utilising the abilities of the special vehicles nicely and correctly and how they should be... Damn it. How they should be done. This is not going well so far. You know, you've got some jump, you've got some areas of the track that require jumps. You know, there's no way to get through the track without... There's some special vehicle circuits that you see that there's literally no point. Like, you, you could do the track in, in, in any supercar or something, like... Or oh, there's only one little section where it requires a parachute or, and then most of the time as long as you get the jump correct and the landing correct you don't even need the parachute so you've got to make a track with a special vehicle race that actually uses the 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 good parts of the of the car and the, re the whole reason that the car is there in the first place and i think that's what this does Beautiful, beautiful. I like the fact also in this that there's some areas where you don't even need to use the parachute or like in that section, as long as you get it right, 
you don't even need to use the, the jump or the, the parachute, but then there's other areas where you definitely do. Like, it just, it mixes it up. And it's just simple and effective. Post coverage isn't fantastic though. <laughs> no, but as I always say, it doesn't need to be on, on fun races really as much. But yeah, for anybody who wants these tracks. Oh god. I haven't managed to do a single clean lap yet. For anybody who wants to get these races on their game. The links for all these are in the description. I am so done. Clean lap next stream, yeah. I think it's gonna have to be. I'm too tired in this stream to be doing anything decent. What description? Well, obviously, for those watching live on Twitch, you're not seeing the description, but this, that's not. I said that for the people who are watching on YouTube. Probably didn't really need to do that, but hey. I've had, I've had good moments during this race. It just hasn't been consistently good. <laughs> Have a YouTube channel as well. <laughs> oh man. Oh, can we make it? Just made it. Got the lines down. Why did I choose to go straight into the lamppost there? I really wish I knew. Oh, and I just remembered you could also just like jump to get to the, uh, like jump over the, um, the, the stunt target there that's used as a corner apex to just get to the finish line in the last lap. Um, Yeti Cohort 456 with the subscription. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your subscription. You guys are all too kind and too supportive. I'm not worthy of all this support. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, no problem, unsub. <sighs> Jeremiah with a hundred bits, I'm not worthy to watch. <laughs> well, I guess I guess that evens it out then. <laughs> and I'll keep streaming and you keep watching. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremiah, for the 100 bits. Jambali with the $2.50. So, now that you have 700 subs, when are we going to get a happy birthday emote? We are not getting a happy birthday emote. I am not... I am not... I'm, I'm... I can't think of the word, but I'm not having it. 
Um, sports. Yeah, let's do sports. This is a... I don't know whether to dip, put this on non-contact. Because it is very short. Um, I think seven laps seems about right. Encouraging. That's the word I was looking for. I'm not encouraging this behavior of happy birthday in every stream. Um... Thank you, Javali, for the 250. Uh... <laughs> you guys are the worst. How old are you today? Well, if we take into account all of the birthdays that I have on all of my streams, I'm about 120. I guess I'll just leave it on standard, even though it might be a little bit of a mess. We'll see. A few seconds ago, we were so kind, now we are the worst. Yeah, it's funny how that works, isn't it? I like how Tommy G did happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, and then started the hip hip and nobody answered. <laughs> then he just came back with, you guys suck. <laughs> Every time that I've tried to go off at the start, I've ended up at the back. Every time that I've gone to the back, I've stayed at the back. Yum. Let's see what happens this time. Of course. Oh well, I mean, at least I, at least Coin was on the outside of that to, to take the hit for me. <laughs> I, I was in a, a sandwich that could have gone terribly, but thankfully, because Coin was there, I was able to use him as a barrier. And I can claim that it wasn't my fault, it was the person who hit me into him. He's the one who should win. So I'm all good. So we can have a clean race for once. Oh, that was one lap. Okay, this is a short lap. Interesting. I have a feeling that the lights on the side of the road aren't knockdownable, which is why they're okay to be there. with where the track goes. Yeah, you can full throttle that. Hmm. It feels like there's a lot of full throttle corners, which surprises me. Like, it feels very wide open as well. Oh, I wasn't well, expecting it. Back. I really wasn't expecting it to be this wide open. I was expecting it to be more tight and technical, considering we are essentially in the um, in the the horse track area. Obviously, you've got the casino. I see what the creator has done with this, like the theme that he's gone for. He's used the casino building and the horse track grandstands and surroundings and things like that to essentially be the 
like the, the outskirts of the track. So obviously with tracks these days, people create big grandstands and stuff out of props. Whereas this is built, the track is essentially built around the grandstands and stuff. And I think it actually gives a really nice effect. I mean, it being at night is really good as well because you've got all the lights from the horse track. Casino and everything. You get the full on grandstand and it's not just prop created grandstand. It's, a, it's an actual proper world grandstand that's normally meant to be used for the horse track. Feels nice to drive. It's not the most technical thing in the world in terms of like if you're thinking about using it for a high level racing event you've got to have some slow speed corners in there to be able to make overtaking possible and stuff like that the way i feel about it anyway it feels very it feels a little bit too fast paced to be to be used in that way for an event style thing But for the most part, you know, there's a few areas with metal barriers, but and a few curb surfy areas. But for the most part, this is a really, really nice track. I think, you know, the metal barrier on the apex there, and these metal barriers here. Obviously, we've talked about their bad hitboxes before. Those are the sort of things that are just a tiny little bit on the negative side of it. If those were fixed, it would be, you know, I mean, it's very, it's very, very, very good right now. It just needs little things fixing to be the best it can be. I still don't think it's it's going to be the sort of track that you can use for an event. Like I say, because it's just not that sort of style of circuit. But it's one of the better... I mean, I mean, I guess you could. I mean, I don't see why not, but... I would say there's probably better tracks that you could use for an event. Um, stupid links. Um, but no, this is this is nice. This is a really really good playlist circuit, and it gives you a great feeling driving around it. The theme is great. Using the real world props to make the track better is fantastic. I love the idea of that. You know, doing this race at night is just the best way to do it. With all these lights from the horse track, it's just it's just fantastic. It's brilliant. I'm I'm, I'm liking it with every more. I'm liking it more with every lap that I do. Just from a. a a feeling and aesthetic standpoint it's it's good for racing it's not spectacular for from a racing standpoint it, it's it's fun it's it's nice but from a, a thematic standpoint and a, a visual standpoint and the way that it feels the way that it makes you feel when you drive around it it's a great track Needs blimps. <laughs> Having said that, I didn't try to knock down any of those. By the way, I just won a race on a stream. How does that ever happen? <laughs> um... I didn't try to knock down any of those lights, but I'm pretty sure they are solid objects, so you can't knock them down. Really nice. Just a really nice feel to the track. You can knock them down. If you can knock them down, that's a, that's a significant negative. And not from everything that I said about the aesthetics and how it makes you feel to drive it and stuff like that is all exactly the same. But if you can knock those down, 
then the ability to use it for a race has uh, just decreases significantly because those lampposts were all over the place. They were everywhere. And if that was to be used for a proper race and not just, you know, messing about in a playlist and for the fun of, you know, having, you know, being in that environment and for the, the aesthetics of it, then they need to be covered. A few other people are seeing those lampposts can be knocked down. So, yeah, that's a negative. But from a... Um, from a from an aesthetic standpoint that was brilliant uh yeah four laps works yeah let's leave it on muscle we haven't done a muscle race yet block the lamppost with blimps win-win situation <laughs> You get the wimp, you get the blimps, and you get the lamppost blocked. <laughs> just call me iPod with the one dollar. Just now got around to watching you play WAS Rally Stadium in week 31. Appreciate the feedback, much love. You're very welcome. Thank you for the donation. I I, I always it's it's always nice when when people who have had their tracks showcased and I've said improvements that I think can be made about them and I've been critical of them and not necessarily um, not necessarily critical in a bad way just you know what I like what I don't like stuff like that it's always nice when people leave a comment and say because it's happened a few times you know and thanks for the feedback it's helped me make the track better and stuff like that and that, that's what we're doing I do these things not only to help the person who created the track to make it better to also showcase to people what you should do, what you shouldn't do with track creation, what works, what doesn't work. Um, you know, just uh, I'm glad that it helps. Hopefully it does help people in general. Uh, happy g with the eight months in a row as well. Of course I tune in when he's second. Never mind first. I'll shut up now. <laughs> Thank you for the eight months, happy g -ster. Um... I remember crying myself to sleep when you said the fruit stands on Bowie were bad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, how do you connect your controllers to PC? With a micro USB cable? In the USB port. Just tested it, ran into one with a helicopter and it fell right over. There you go. Thank you for the feedback, Draconis. So yeah, you can knock those over. That's a, that's a major issue from a racing perspective, but it doesn't change how good the track was from a uh, thematic and aesthetic perspective. Issues have been had by that ruiner. All right, let's step into the mess. be all the practice that I've had but I feel like I'm getting better at working my way through uh, all the mess in stream races <laughs> I have had a lot of practice at it Thank you. 
This is a fun track. It feels a little bit outdated with the prop selection, you know, with the stunt tubes and things like that. Obviously this uh, this stunt track piece there works fine. Uh, the, the, uh, the stunt target. But there's a few areas where we have a few uh, stunt tubes as apex props, which is not the best. But that's easily fixable, I would say. I like the layout. I like how it goes around the prison. Checkpoint's a bit dodgy, I would say. Oh, I can't get through. Um, yeah, it's giving some good racing, so can't really ask more than that of a track. So much so that I'm not really being able to concentrate as much as I would like to on the track itself. A few nice sort of chicanes. It does feel good in muscles. Some long, uh, long straights to let the let the muscles get to their their speed. Some unique corners created for sure. You know, utilizing the the prison roads and then new creations with these corners. Roads that you don't normally race on because they're not connected to anything that you could normally use. Some, we've had some good racing. No, 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 no. Most tracks that use lots of stumpy sections and new sections are usually the best in muscle. Makes the other oops, shit. Um, makes the otherwise easy corners at least a bit more interesting. Yeah, that's a fair point. That is a fair point. I think new new tracks in muscle cars, like th these new sections, like well, can you if you imagine doing all of this in uh, in supers? I guess it would be somewhat boring. The muscles do make it a little bit more interesting in that respect. That checkpoint is uh, not good. Checkpoint, that checkpoint before like, I've messed up that corner every single time. Um, that checkpoint before that, uh, that is it last corner or second to last corner is too close to the next checkpoint. So you see it, and then the next thing you know, you're seeing the next checkpoint. So that needs to be fixed. Uh, a few small issues with the, the prop selections, but in general. It's a nice, um, it's a nice track it, circuit. Um, I don't know why I'm saying track it, what on earth? 
coin on fire tonight? Well, Dargus, it's very easy when you start on the front row. Coin needs to come to the back in a race for once, instead of being Mr. Mr. Uh, Tryhard. <laughs> the tube apex there is really bad enough for you, so either. Yeah, I think, I think some small changes could be made to the track that would make it. Um, they could make it pretty good, like you know, like, uh, on, on a top level. Um, but the it, it, the minute there's just a few things that you know that that could be improved that don't really let it reach the level that it really could. But the layout, I, I like the layout. I think I like the layout more so than anything else. Um, all right, let's do this on non-contact. Uh, I like the layout more so than anything else. And then it just requires a bit more fine tuning on the props used and stuff. Um, so rally cars for this one, obviously. leave it on 12 laps I think no, 13 um, okay 14 last track of the night this one as well coin dog with 100 bits I think I described that as a pretty standard circuit really do you agree don't know what you're talking about coin <laughs> see you later Phil Hoff Need to let some air in. It's getting warm in here. To be fair though, he's right. Standing on pole is half of winning a race. If I start on pole, the only people that normally can catch and pass me are Subaru and AJ. Now, that's the thing. Like, um, You saw what happened in the race that I started. I actually went off at the start and didn't get taken out. I won. That was the only race I've won all night. It, it starting in the top five or six, especially in these stream races where there's so much going on and so many crashes behind, you you you're always gonna finish in the top five or six every single time. That's why I never I never get it when people try go all try hard in these stream races. Coin isn't, of course. He's just I was just saying that to be a scum, but you do get people come in every once in a while who are. You know, they, they, they have their race faces on for these stream races and they start in the top few and then they do well and they it's it's really if you're starting in the top few in a stream race don't, don't take it so seriously these are just for a bit of fun Once you join enough stream races and you have some pace to begin with, you learn how to get through all the chaos. Yeah, this is true. Alright, so that was one lap. Very, very short lap. Rally cross track, so... Short lap with a mix of road and off-road sections. Is the order of the day for rally cross tracks. Beautiful. I love this car so much. <laughs> Is that the Joker on the right? I'm not sure about that one, to be honest. Yeah, that 
that's not a good joke a Just making a joke a lot out of stunt pieces like that is is not good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with making it out of stunt pieces, but with the way that it's placed right there, it's it's a terrible entry and a terrible exit as well. If you think that you've got this in a contact format. You will hit people when you come out of the Joker lap and go into it. It does seem a bit of an afterthought. It needs to have a natural line into it and a natural line out of it. Just the same as a pit lane, really. God. All these scumbags and trot bosses. Easy mode cars. Respect the Karumas though, they're difficult, but ultimately the quickest. The most amount of respect goes to Omnis drivers. Yes, there's one. GG. There they all are, there's the Omnis drivers all of the back. Because it's, it's, uh, it's the worst of the three. But it's got character, and it's a beautiful car to drive. I think the colour selection was mentioned by the testers, like not necessarily the best idea because oh, we're, uh, we're on a, a track that is full of green and grass and all that kind of stuff and then the colour selection for the apexes is also green which doesn't allow the apexes and things to stand out which I can I can uh, I can get on top on board with that line of thinking maybe a, a different colour for the props would be better. But on the whole, I like the layout. And it does a decent mix of road and you know off-road sections. It feels like a nice track, it's got a nice flow. Damn it. It's a decent little rally cross track. Short and sweet as it should be. I feel like maybe the the prop placement is a little bit rough around the edges in some places, like the, the walls are a bit jaggedy in some places and things like that. I feel like there's more potential, and obviously the Joker lap requires significant improvement. I feel like there's more potential to the track, but on a base level it is, it is a good rallycross track. Oh, for God's sake. As we mentioned earlier as well, on one of the first races, it might be best off to remove the uh, those concrete tubes if they are a bit sticky. There's plenty of other things that will do the job better. I was going into that wrong so the only thing I could do was try to try to do it as best I could <laughs> didn't work out though couldn't save it green props like the north loop yeah like the north loop but at least you're actually on a road in the north loop I mean, you look at tarmac not grass and there's a lot less props to the north loop now with the recreation The difference between blending in the props to fit the theme and the area that you are and having props that are meant to show the outline of the track that are the same colour as everything else that you're racing on. on the fast left hander of uh, fast left downhill. And North Loop was a mistake though. That was blind and green.
Oh, for God's sake, every single time I keep hitting that, I don't know what it is. Well, it's not every time, but there's something about that section of corners that makes, that just, it entices me to hit it. <laughs> Should have left it on 12 laps, I think 12 would have been enough. Oh! I've just thought, can you completely skip the jump? I have not been very consistent in this race. Last lap. Oh my days. <laughs> oh. No, you can't you can't skip the first part of it, but you can skip the second part. I feel like the wall should be flush to the jump. Especially on that corner where you're gonna be carrying the speed around. You don't really want to have people do what I just did and carry a little bit too much speed and then not be able to make the jump and have a crash that is worse than what it should have been for the mistake that was made. I think it's got potential for a as the layout, that one. But needs a bit of work, I think, on the propping. Subaru Wolf is so good off-road. He just bossed it. I mean, he wasn't a Karuma, though. So, those were our seven tracks for this week all on PC if anybody wants to download them they are like I said the links are all in the description um, and yeah next time we'll be back on PS4 but because I'm in the US these are going to be getting released with weeks in between them and stuff so to keep us going anyway some more good tracks as always <laughs>